Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rashi Goyal and in this video, we are going to solve 4x square minus 5x minus 6 is equals to 0 and we have to find the discriminants and roots of this equation. So let's start with today's video solution. So I'm going to compare with the standard form of quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus c is equals to 0. So the value of a is 4, the value of b is minus 5, the value of c is minus 6. So first I'm going to find the discriminant with the help of the formula d is equals to b square minus 4ac. So there are three possibilities. If it is positive, greater than 0, that means two real solution exist. And if it is ne negative, that means less than 0, so two complex solution exist. And if it is equals to 0, that means only one real solution exists. So let's find out. The value of b is minus 5 square minus 4 times 4 times minus 6. Minus 5 square is 25. Minus minus is plus. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 6 is 96. 25 plus 96 is 121, which is positive, greater than 0. So that means two real solution exists. So let's find out the real solution or roots. So method 1, 5x, 4x square minus 5x minus 6 is equals to 0. I am going to use quadratic formula. Minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a. So minus minus 5 plus minus under root. We already find the value of b square minus 4ac that is 121 by 2 times 4. So 5 plus minus under square root 121. You can write 11 by 8. So our x1 is 5 plus 11 by 8 which is equals to 16 by 8 that is 2. So, one root is 2 and our x2 is 5 minus 11 by 8. That is minus 6 by 8 minus 3 by 4. This is our second row. Now, method 2. 4x square minus 5x minus 6 is equals to 0. I am going to solve with the middle term split method. So I can write this negative 5x as negative 8x positive 3x negative 6 is equals to 0. Now from first two term, if I'll take 4x as common, so x minus 2. And now from next two term, if I'll take 3 as common, x minus 2 is equals to 0. Now x minus 2 is common, so 4x plus 3 is equals to 0. So first x minus 2 is equals to 0. So x is 2 and 4x plus 3 is equals to 0. So 4x is equals to minus 3. x is equals to minus 3 by 4. I hope both the methods discriminate or everything is clear and you find it useful. So please give us a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos.